Hey guys, it's Kralos, and welcome back everybody to the next episode of Transport Fever. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do enjoy this, make sure you hit the like button and also leave some feedback in the comment section below the video. Anyhow, in the previous episode we did stuff, we did some upgrading and whatnot, and I did say we would go into the airplanes and stuff today, but no can do like we have so much problems around here and we're not really making that much money so we need to adjust some stuff and i've actually got next to me a notepad thingy which i written down some pointers i never do this i usually I just wing it but uh, today we need to adjust some things first is first you know we have this um this is root over here, which produces the wood from wood to planks and then it goes from planks to this guy which should be producing tools and you guys told me that it does produce tools just using the, the planks. Problem is, like, since we don't have any root from this guy, they're not really dropping any, any tools into this. So that means what we're gonna do to start off this episode is... I think what we could do is just put down one of those truck terminal stations, or I mean the little depot, not the depot, just a truck station. And if we just try this out, okay, this is trial and error, people. If we poop it down, let me see here, where would be a good pooping place? I mean, this is kind of like in the center of the city, right? Let me just see here. How's the route going? The road goes in here, then it goes out here. So that should be a thing. If I poop it down here, okay, just like that. And then what we could do is, this is the, which line is this? This is the orange line. I guess what we could do is just add a station here as an extra stop. So that means they're going to pick up, be picking up planks over here in the orange branch, right? They're going to be delivering the planks to the orange north here, to the little facility. And then from the facility, they're going to be picking up the tools and delivering that to the town of Orange. Is this how it might work? I think it actually might work like this. Let me just see here. The production here is zero. Let me just see if the production goes up. Let me just speed it up a little bit. Because now they got a purpose, right? Now they got a drop-off point for the tools. The question is, though, is this how it's gonna work? Like, we do have beautiful trucks and whatnot, but... They're not delivering any planks. And that, I think, is just mainly because everything has come to a halt when it comes to, like, um, the production here in the, in, the, in the lines. Yep, zero. Boom, 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 boom. That's two... And two. Okay, so the production is starting up again. Perfecto El Mundo. Production is 10 here. And they do have tools. All right. So this guy should be carrying tools, right? Yeah, tools. Three out of 19 to the town of Orange. Which we means we kind of close this, this like circle. So we're making it the, the, from wood to planks to tools. And that's it. So now this should be a very profitable business. Like, that's what I hope at least. I love this game. Like, so far it's really intriguing how it, like, you know, how it works. Even though I'm, like, I'm not very good at it. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Yep, look at this. There's the tools. And somebody suggested I should name all my lines with names before it goes out of hand. And so I did. Like, Grain Root, Escondido, Food Train, Escondido 1 and 2. Like, you know, just, just so we can keep track of things. I'm going to be observing this for a little second and see how it goes. So I've been observing this for almost a year and look at the income on the tools, tools and planks line, roots. This is like the all time high. It was really high here in the beginning stages, but that was when it was new and it was working and then it just stopped working. And now, what is this? It's a Skoda, I think it's a tram and a new passenger train. That looks amazing. I doubt that we will be able to afford it. But anyhow, I think it's working. This is going to adjust itself. This is the, the the log trucks. As you can see, like, previous years, we had, like, <laughs> literally, like, non-income. This is when it was new. Then it was, like, making some money, and then it just stopped working. But it's on the way back, because the production is on the way back. So I think... I think we're doing good. Yeah, look at this. Production 96 out of 100 on that guy. 94 out of 100 on this guy, 122 out of 200 on that guy. There's a lot of guys involved here in this business. And then we have 50 out of 50. Not sure the production limit is going to go up. Maybe we need both production lines to be like operating. 
like planks and steel as well, or steel and plastic. But we're gonna check that out. So anyhow, so that's kind of like the, the first little point on my little list of notepad amazingness. And now, hey, by the way, you guys also told me that, you know how in the previous episode we placed those cargo train stations? To drop off like yeah, the, the food and goods and stuff. But you guys told me that I could just drop them off at passenger train stations. Is that how it works? That's pretty interesting, I guess. But I mean, that now it's placed here. I'm not gonna move it, but it's good for future references, I guess. So, anyhow, that's point one completed. Tools in full effect. Now is one which has been driving everybody crazy, and is the oil oil route. The ship here is just going back and forth, and it's not really doing that much good. Like, I mean, it's uh, the production is pretty much halted. Like, the line is in use, yes, it is, but production is zero. So, what I thought instead, okay, we're gonna do a little tweaks over here. Oh my, oh my, the lag here. Um, we have this guy. This takes oil or grain and plus this plastic, okay? So that means we're gonna transport the oil, we're gonna make crude oil to, like, we're gonna make crude oil, oil to oil, right? And then we're gonna transport the oil down to this guy, it's gonna create plastic, and then, and no, and then, and then we're gonna transport it to this fellow over here, which is the. Machine factory, Chesapeake, Chesapeake machine factory, and it's going to be creating tools at least, or I mean uh, machines, combined with steel though. But we also need a little steel facility, and that is something we get over here, which is not far away, so... This might be something, so this guy takes coal and steel and produces steel and slag. And everybody loves some slag, I don't know what that is to be honest, but uh, I, I, I bet it's fantastic. So thing is, where is my oil ship? Here it is. Let's just check the little income here, because I think like when this is operating in the in the in the future, it's gonna make us a lot of cash. Because oil, the black gold, right? And so far, it's been losing money since 1981. <laughs> well, it's actually further, we can't see any further back. And it's year 2000 now in the game. So um, yeah, we definitely need some tweaks on this. So first is first. Let me just think. What would be the wisest idea to do here? Oh, I don't think I showed you guys this, by the way, but I did some tweaks here in the food production facility. I placed an extra depot on this side, which delivers some stuff, so we don't really have so much congestion, because this was really congested before, and now it seems to be working out much, much nicer. Like, there's much more space, the rows look beautiful, and even the bushes are not too shabby over here. So it seems to be working out. By the way, pause the game for a little second. Is this a thing? Do the tracks get like dirtier and dirtier the older they get? Because I mean, I can't remember that guy being so shabby in the beginning stages. Yeah, they do get like a wear and tear effect. That is actually really cool. I didn't notice that before. Not this guy, this is a brand new track. But uh, that is pretty decent. So, just to get back to the oil. The oil, the oil, the oil. What we're gonna do, I think that the, the best thing would be to move the the, um, the cargo thingy. Like the, the seaport type of thing. Rotated, Keralas, rotated, there we go. Somewhere about here. Then combining, or making a new road going from this guy throughout this, connecting this, and totally removing this little thing over here for the moment being. That would be, I think that would be the wisest choice. So let's just try to adjust him nicely to the roads here. Outside, boom, up, there we go, perfect. So that means we get a new seaport. Don't go all ragey about this, okay? I know it might not be the, the, best, the best idea here, but... Uh, we do have 18 million in the Z bank, and we can also repay even more now, so we can repay 10 more millions, maybe, about. Let's repay how much we can, like, we have 3 millions in the bank. I mean, 3 millions in the bank and 5 million alone, we will repay 25 millions in loan in this episode, that is, <laughs> that is pretty nuts. Finally, we're making some progress, everybody, finally. So where is that coming? That's gonna be coming over here. How is the elevations on the on the thing? Okay, it's a mountain. It is a mountain. It's not really a mountain, it's a little hill. Uphill. It's gonna be an uphill battle over here. 
So let's see here. We have this big exchange over here and that should include both this building the plastic production facility and the seaport over here not too shabby and by the way who who, who builds a road like this it's not me by the way it's not me like i mean look how flat the land here is and they decided to build like the bendiest road for the bendiest people ever obviously there's rocks i have up ahead like on both sides so fair enough fair enough uh, i give that to them but I just don't I need to tweak that road later on. But now it's just my objectives on my notepad list. This is something we need to fix today because we really need to get into those big bucks. And and mainly so I can get our airport running. I'm gonna be as bendy as them, I guess. No, 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 no. I can't be as bendy. It's bad. It's bad for us. Let's just do a little temp connection, I guess. Just so we can't I do this straight? Yeah, I can. Perfect. Nothing against the bendies. But uh, there we go. All right, so that is pretty much connected. But also, it's going to be very tweaked in the future. So now is the question. First thing we need to do is reroute this line, the ship route line, one. And it's going to be Chesapeake transfer. It's going to be removed. And we're going to add this guy instead. It's going to be the sidings. It's going to be going to Chesapeake sidings instead. And I guess we could... Hmm, yeah, we could demolish this. Are they just spinning around here? I think they are, to be honest. Perfect. Can't be straighter than that. And now, put that in. Is that going to include this building? Yes, it is. And I, I think this might be a small one for now. Put it further away from the road. So we can always expand on that in the future. Bam. Perfect. Done, done, done. So that means this should be pretty covered, right? Oh, this road is driving me so nuts. I need to fix it. Kerala have a snicker. Better, better. Much, I, I like this much better. Okay, I know it's not perfect, but this is going to be extended up to Jacksonville later on. And this is just going to be going straight up ahead. There are bouts in the later stages. And also, we could do... That is something I didn't think about. Let me just hear. Can I upgrade this road? Yes, I can. Okay, so it won't really interfere. But we could totally upgrade it and get it to this side. And by the way, this road is not upgraded either. Oh my god, I'm so behind on everything. But that, is, that means that we could make a bridge over, I guess? Is that gonna be a thing? Let's see here. Yes, it's <laughs> like the terpiest bridges ever in the game. <gasps> oh baby, look at this little bendy thing. I guess we don't really have to have it to there about here. Maybe how straight are we on the bridge situation? It's pretty straight and nice. There we go. And then just bring it into this road for the moment. So we have a passage at least. Yeah, the bridges are not really that good looking, but uh, it is what it is. So that should be connected. Trucks are going back and forth, back and forth. And the final thing we're going to do in this region for the moment, I guess, is just connect it up nicely to this guy somehow. Temp connected. Temp connected. There was here. Can I just do why you don't bend? Okay. Ah, doesn't matter. There we go. Perfect. Kind of so there's a lot of roads going on here and let me see here this truck is doing their, its thing it's producing it's bringing back five out of 19 oil so the production on this guy over here is now 14 14 out of 100 this is really crap by the way but at least we're making some progress and how is this thing over here doing it's two out of 100 so this is worse i guess it's got a feel that this guy is actually doing stuff before something happens but um well definitely making making some stuff so this guy brings back the oil which is what we intended and now let's see if i speed this up you drop off the oil will this start producing yes so it drops off oil production goes up that is what we needed and also let's make a little route in between those guys and i guess oil can we use the cascadias cascadia trucks the freight liners. Let me see here. Um, fuel tools. Yeah, we can. Okay. Buy, 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 and four. That might be a little bit overkill now in the beginning stages. But new line is going to be from. Let's just call this the plastic line. Pla uh, let me see here. Oil plastic. Uh, plastic root. Oh my, oh my, I got a huge mic microphone in front of me and uh, it's really hard to see in the keyboard. But, anywho, oil plastic route one. So, from this guy, add station, this guy, the Chesapeake exchange up to this guy, which is the upper 
Chesapeake. Chesapeake is definitely a big region. I mean, that's kind of far away, but uh, it is what it is. So they, they should be doing their thing. Are you guys going to be doing their thing? There's no good still. Production on this is 38. Okay, 38. Line and usage, usage is no one though. Why are you being no? This over here, 5 to 2 out of... See? It's going up. Problem is with this guy over here, which doesn't really go up. But then again, six, 16 oil waiting to be picked up. 28. Everybody is working out. And now we just need to figure out the steel business. We know how to get... Um, we know what the iron is. The iron is down here. There's an iron facility, so we could also make a train line going in between those guys. But the closest coal I've seen is over here, I think. Maybe not the closest one. Is this this one? Prussian coal. Although he is pretty close to the train routes. But that's going to be expensive as hell. Let's just see if this works out first of all. I was looking for coal mines and I found this guy, which is just outside the beautiful city of Dayton, which is just in the middle of nowhere of the map a little bit. But it's very close to the waterways, which means I could transport the coal with both. I'm not really sure this is big enough. There's a little river we got going here, but hopefully it is. So we can transport that using some ships off to the other side or you just do the steel straight away in this guy, which is the Dayton steel mill. Although, where is the closest Eden? It's well, not far away. It's here. In Fayetteville. Ho, 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 ho. But I think what I will do, because it's going to look cool, we're going to start off with like transporting that using ships. I'm just thinking, like, do we even... Do we even have a ship which transports coal? Oh my, oh my. Everybody, look at this. The oil is pouring in. 96 out of 100. I'm so happy. And finally, we're going to make some money. Uh, buy ships. Let me see here. Do we have any coal freighters? Crude oil, oil and fuel. It's not this one. Logs, iron, coal. This one over here. The XLP. This one though? Well, this one, the Merlin. I mean, the Merlin is like... Top notch, it's brand new. Top speed 36, top speed 30. Not really that fast now, are they? But I take the Merlin. The motor cargo versatile Merlin is a modern river cargo ship which travels which travels the Donau River. Alright. That is perfect. And 2.26 millions. That's like literally nothing. So that is something I'm gonna do in today's episode, even. Even though that's not my, my on, on my notepad list. We're gonna give this a go. So let's say we would put um, a cargo harbor here as well. I know I'm going nuts with cargo harbors all over the place, but it looks so freaking cool. Uh, I don't. I doubt we're gonna be able to reach that thing over there. Let's say we we'll put it down just here. I know it's a little bit crooked and and stuff, but I was just mainly. Yeah, I know it's crooked. It's bad. <laughs> It's not really bad. Nobody's gonna really care about the crookiness of it, but uh, well, I will. I will. There we go. It's now it's like nearly, nearly like perfect, and have a straight road just going to that. Problem is gonna be that it's not gonna be it's not gonna be connecting to that guy whatsoever. So I guess we could. It's a little bit further away. So the only way we could do this is by placing a little depot over here and transporting the coal with trucks to the little terminal here. Well, that plan backfired a little bit. I placed this like station over here, but it was not connected to that building. And now it is. Look at that. Lights up in white. Lights up in white. But I'm not really sure how this is going to work out. Will they poop in their stuff into this station and the station will poop in the stuff into that without any trucks whatsoever? Because that is what we did. This is going to be like the longest <laughs> ship, <laughs> ship line ever. But this is what we did over here, right? Because this is... But that is, then again, this is really close to that. And that, that would work out. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not really sure how it's going to work out. But let's make a little terminal station over here as well. A little harbor. This can be now demolished. Because this is not intended to be here anymore. I don't know why we placed that. I can't, don't really remember. We're doing something at least. But uh, the plan didn't work out either, I guess. Although, 
If I would place it here, is it close enough to reach it if it just has some road access? I, no, I don't think it will. Maybe it, maybe it will. Let me see here. Yes! Yes, this is brilliant. So that means we don't really have any, don't have to have any like uh, transportation means in between because this covers that building and that's perfect. So we just need to dock a little like coal ship over here. Although is this crooked off the river? Is it a little bit crooked as you can see here? But doesn't matter. And the Merlin, bam. So the Merlin is bought. Now we're gonna create a, a route, I guess. Set line. Let's make a new line and let's call this ship coal one very simple okay i'm gonna have the beautiful color of black just to represent the call okay so now set the line ship call one um well it didn't really set any stations now did we so that complicates everything ship call one add station remove this remove that so add station this one is going to be going all the way to the other side of the map which is about here so back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Would hmm? Can this carry? Let me just hear. Can this ship? Can this ship carry oil? <laughs> the turning radius on that bad boy, though. Uh, it is what it is. But I'm still thinking, like, how is this gonna work out? Let me just hear. Can I just pause this for a moment? It's on ship call one. Load if available. Full load any. Full load all. I guess. I guess. Full load any. Load if available. Full load all. I'm gonna go full load just for the moment, just so we can pass the ship here, because otherwise it's gonna sail for like a few years to the other side with nothing inside of it. So we got the ship. Will this production line go up now? I don't think it will. Like, I've been trying so many different combinations and it's still not producing anything. Even have a derp line going from this guy to that guy and then to the ship, but... It's just not doing anything. And I mean, let me just take a peek there. Buy ships, the Merlin. The Merlin, Merlin, Merlin. Does say coal on it. And oil, I saw there. It is, uh, it is a beautiful model, although. But it can't just be standing here costing us money, so I'm a little bit worried about this. It's been a few years in game time, I think. The ship is on the way back. And uh, I had to make tweaks. It is working now, okay? It's just started working. And what I did, I made a line producing the coal, going to this facility, which is the steel mill, and also Temp made a little thing over here in the iron mine, which is like, don't, don't get me wrong, it's going to be tweaked because now it's going all through the city of Fayetteville and goes all the way around here, which is really bad for, for, for business. But uh, it is working. It is working. So what do they do? The trucks here deliver coal to this facility, then they bring the steel back. And they should be bringing it back to this depot. And then hopefully this guy here, like the, the, the Merlin, is going to be loading the steel instead of the coal. But then we still need to make tweaks over here because the steel is going to be delivered to this guy. Then we combine the steel with the plastics and make machines. I'm a genius, kind of. No, I'm not. But oh my, oh my, this game, this game. It sure takes uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, thinking power from my little brain. I got a big brain. Okay, I give up. If anybody can help me with this, please let me know. Like, I've tweaked the roads. Everything here is perfect. Everything is working out. They're delivering the iron ore. They're delivering the coal. They're producing the steel. But for some reason, the steel is not being picked up here and delivered to this ship. Because it just says, like, line usage. No. I mean... <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to do it, because we do have this drop-off point, so they should be carrying the steel from this guy to this guy, and then the boat should pick up the steel and carry it all the way to there. Every line is connect, connected perfectly, there is nothing wrong with it, and I, I just can't, I, I can't figure it out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break from it, but it looks pretty awesome, like, uh, well, we fix something, we break something else, I guess, but at least we are earning, like, the big bucks. And... Also, on my notepad list is... Let me see, where is it? Here. 
we are gonna make a little like train station type of thing here connected to that rail and then we're gonna have both trucks delivering grain and livestock and the train <laughs> obviously right so let me just see here train stations train stations. i did unlock those here the terminal stations that's for an airport i think I don't know, but they look pretty awesome. And I know a lot of you guys are like, Kiraz, don't use the power lines all over the place and high speed and whatnot. I'm like, y y why not? Because I mean, future is going to be electric, right? Then I don't have to go about and upgrade every single station. It's going to be just perfect. So let's see here. How do we connect it nicely to this rail system over here? Let's just delete a little bit. And let's say, let's say we would take out this rail straight into that. How is that curvature gonna look? Is it like perfect? Is it amazing? Does it look good? Bad? Ugly? You know what? In my opinion, that looks really fabulous. Now comes the big question. We need to figure out stuff, bits and pieces, because we can't really have like one track per, per train. We need to figure out like one ways and stuff. But you know what? First of all, let's just buy a train. We have unlocked a few new trains, which are pretty amazing. Let me see. Locomotives. We have unlocked this one, which is the... Uh, let me see here. This. HHP8. Means high horsepower 8000. Mm -hmm. The twin cab electric locomotive was manufactured for use by the West Rail and the Maryland Area Regional Commuter System. Not bad. This is new, GE P42DC, the Genesis series is unique among recently manufactured North American passenger locomotives. Okay, passenger. I guess we can just go with one of those, like diesel ones. It's not, they're not really that expensive now, are they? 7.5 million. Why is this so, so, so freaking expensive? I'm just gonna go with this. This is like a standard, like, freight train, I guess. So let's just go with that and... Livestock and grain. I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on the grain because grain is, seems to be a surplus, not livestock. So let's just buy those gondolas ones, right? And see here, one, two, three, and a box car for livestock at the end, just to look cool and all. And then we're gonna set line. New line is gonna be going from this grain station, <laughs> grain station, from this farm area to this over here. And now let's see here, which line does it pick? It picks the outer line all the way. Let's just change that to like a yellowish color so we can see it easy. There we go. It picks the outer line. Here is the, here is the problem. It's going to be interfering because they both are going to be sharing the same track. Because there's another train on this track as well, right? So we need to figure this out. I think the easiest way would be to maybe... What would Akiralis do? Well... He wouldn't do this, I guess, but... Uh, nah, that's not going to be the easiest way. They're both going to be coming on this rail. Then we're going to bend it like Beckham kind of-ish and connect it up to this. That connects nicely. That is perfect and amazing. This goes back into this guy. Because we can. That is just for use on that line. And then this one could be maybe somehow... Extend it. Is this gonna be a thing? Can we do it? Crap, it snaps to the other side. No, it doesn't. It snaps to this. Alright, something like this. Can we ex extend this even more? <gasps> the new train is, is here. Okay, it looks fabulous. It looks fabulous. I, I guess I know what you guys are saying about the about the using the, the electric lines. But hey. I think they look pretty decent and awesome, so let me just have them. Then this will go into that, okay. And now let's gonna sp we're gonna split that up to like two pieces. So if we take a stop signal about here. So let's say we have a stop here, and we're gonna make that one way. Yes. And then we do the same on this um let me see here. Uh, on this side some about. Well, that's gonna be a little bit crapalicious. You know what? Let's do this one way, that direction. That's gonna be more beneficial for us because then we can still use the depot. There we go. So one way, yes. Okay, it's warning systems coming up all over the place. There we go. Remove that and have another one. 
where does it connect to each other about here so let's just have it here so this train can stop and wait for another train to arrive and yes then we're also gonna have two stoppage signals like this is this is something which i, I have no idea if this is gonna work by the way but we're gonna have one just as they meet each other just in case and just one about here i guess so they can just stop and wait as well hopefully this is gonna work out Well, it's, it's, it's on route again, at least. So that seems to be working fine. Let me just see here the route statistics. Yeah, so it goes one way throughout here. Then the other one is going that direction. That, that should work. Like, in a real-life scenario, that should not be a gridlock of any type. So hopefully that's going to work out. But that means we have another grain system transporting this way. And that is not too shabby. Okay, that is going. The other one comes here. Now this one should just continue. As soon as the other one passes the other stoplight. Perfect. That is how it works. And then this train should stop here in the far end. And it does. And now that train comes back. And that train should move. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. It works. Everybody, I'm gonna leave you with that. I've been I've been at it for quite a bit of time, but this I'm having such a blast in this game so far. I still haven't figured this out. L help me out. Help a brother out, okay? How do how do you how do you do this? Like I think I've done everything correctly. Like look at the line. There is there's no interference with the line. It goes all the way here in a beautiful shape, all the way. It's a far distance. That's for sure. But it is demand-based, right? And they do have the demand over here for the steel to this facility. And there it goes. It's empty. It's gonna go like sail for like two years just to, just, just to get there. But why I did that, like most of you are gonna be like, yeah, Keras, train connections and stuff. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I gotta give the ferries a chance. Or boats, or ships. They look beautiful, and um, they add so much to the at atmosphere of this little place as well. So, help me out. Why? What have I done wrong? Like, it might be so obvious, but I'm just an idiot. I don't know. I just don't know. Every line is so beautifully connected. So there shouldn't be any issues whatsoever, but uh, it just doesn't work out. Well... Everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, hit the like button. We currently have 66 millions and zero in debt. We paid off every single dime. We've made like 90 million profit in this episode. Well, surplus, because we have wasted a lot of money with roads and trains. Ooh, a lot of passengers in here. Ooh. So that is something we need to focus on as well. Next episode, I think might be some airports going on or fixing the oil if you guys give me suggestions uh, which which can help me fix it at least so until next time thank you so much for watching Kiralis over and out where's my trains at are they still working yeah it seems to be working i think also we need to focus on some re train replacements in the next episode because some of them are getting fairly old it's 2012 in the game now damn this is something I need to use more often. There's one way. It's so simple. Can I when you when you do it? I'm loving it. Money is pouring in. Yeah, we wasted a little bit of money, but look at that profit. 10 million, 10 million. Amazing. See you guys in the next one. Kiralis, over now. Let's just end on a train. An epic train shot. Some hot, hot train action.